Hello and welcome to this Trio 30 Talk, trending this week, October 3rd through October 9th, all the events at UNL campus. Sit back, relax, and get ready to learn about all these events. From my office here at University of Nebraska Lincoln, it's Trio 30 Talks. And I'm the host who has been having a fun homecoming week and looking on to the next week. My name is Brian Stutz. Welcome, everybody, and thank you for listening or watching uh, our podcast talking about all the events that happened this week, keeping you in the loop of everything happening on campus. Obviously not everything, but, you know, picking out the good things that are uh, here throughout the week. Uh, and I just want everyone to know that I really appreciate everyone out there listening. And if you are listening, feel free uh, to come by our office. Let me know that you listen. I have some uh, free highlighters uh, and pens uh, and some swag items to give out away uh, to those that are our dedicated listeners that listen uh, to this podcast or watch the YouTube series. Uh, so feel free to come to the office and let our staff know that Brian sent you to get some free swag items. <clears throat> so let's get on to it. Uh, homecoming week happened. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we're recording this on Friday. So hopefully the Huskers uh, took care of the uh, Wildcats this uh, upcoming, uh, this coming Saturday. And we're just hoping that uh, it's, uh, we're getting around the track on some winning. Uh, last week uh, was a rough week, I think, a really close game and uh, came up a little bit short. So, uh, homecoming is always a great time. The parade's about to start here soon. The, uh, the you know, the, um, all the lawn decorations from all the sororities and fraternities and Greek life are out. Uh, it's just really great time to look and see campus and all the traditions that uh, UNL has to offer here on campus. But the homecoming is over and we're moving on to uh, October 3rd, which would be on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. We're first going to start off with a bike and paddle, uh, bike and paddle adventures uh, in our outdoor adventure center from 9 to 4 p.m. You can bike and paddle on the lake. Count you in. Uh, check out, head over to outdoor adventure centers to find more details on that. But from 9 to 4 p.m., biking and paddling adventures uh, with, our, with our outdoor adventure center. After uh, you've done some biking and paddling and you're looking to uh, get into the theater, uh, the Nebraska Theater opens its 2021-2022 season with William Shakespeare's A Midnight Summer's Night Dream. A Midsummer Night's Dream. I can't really talk today. Uh, and uh, that's happening, again, in the Temple Building at 2 p.m. on October 3rd. Later on in the evening, on Sunday, it's the Anti-Slavery Concert with Remedy Drive. Come join Remedy Drive to raise awareness for anti-human trafficking work and launch the 2021 UNL Human Trafficking and Migration Initiative. Uh, that's from 6 to 8 p.m. in the Nebraska Union. It's the anti-slavery concert with Remedy Drive. All right, so that wraps up your Sunday. And now we're heading into Monday, October 4th. And, you know, it's Resident Appreciation Week, if you didn't know. So if you're living in a residence hall, they're here to appreciate you this week because there is some thank you donuts and coffee in different halls across campus this week. Uh, from 7.30 to 10.30, there'll be donuts, coffee, and snacks in your hall lobby as a way to say thank you for living on campus. And those, those halls for Monday are Massaginal, I can't say that word, uh, Selleck, Kaufman, and Love Memorial. 
so those are the ones uh, that are thank you donuts and coffee. So uh, each day they're going to have different different areas and different halls to give out donuts and coffee to you. So make sure you head on to your hall lobby if you live on campus. Later on in the day is again, always on Monday and Thursdays, there's coffee talks from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. A twice weekly gathering for casual and social conversations between international and domestic students. Grab a beverage and join the chat to explore cultures, meet friends and learn about campus. This program is sponsored by Student Leadership Involvement and Community Engagement, also known as SLICE. Again, there's a really good event. Get a chance to meet some people from uh, different places all over. Uh, it's a great chance for you to really uh, maybe take a little relax, get some coffee on a Monday. You know, Mondays are always those days that people dread. So having that coffee at 3.30 will get you through the rest of the day. Later on in the day, uh, this is uh, the second of third uh, Black Greek 101, where you can come learn about uh, the NPHCs. Uh, they are going to be in the Heritage Room, and it's going to be from um, on Monday, October 14th at 6 p.m. in the Heritage Room. Learn all about Black Greek 101 and all about the NPHCs that our uh, fraternity and sorority life offices have to offer you as our students. So sign up. There's also It's also virtual if you need it to be, uh, so you're able to go and listen and learn all about it so you're able to join those organizations. Tuesday we are filled with a lot of different events. So again uh, we have University Suites, Eastside Suites, and Knoll Residential Centers having their coffee and donuts. Thank you uh, for your residents there on, in those halls. Later on in the day there's a culture exchange. Learn about Japan. Join us to learn about and take home items from Japan and Japanese culture. This cultural exchange is free and open to the entire campus community. And that's in the Jackie Gon Multicultural Center. A great opportunity if you're thinking about study abroad or you want to learn more about a different country. Here's a great opportunity to learn more about Japan. We have uh, later on in that day as well, we have our BIPOC experience in Queer Voices panel and Mixer. Come join us for our annual panel emphasizing LGBTQA plus BIPOC voices in collaboration with OASIS. Our panel will consist of LGBTQA plus BIPOC faculty and staff of the university who will be answering questions from the, from the facilitator and the audience. Join us after the panel for a mixer with the panelists and all attendees. Uh, this event will be on Zoom. Uh, and you can email the lgbtqa.events at unl.edu for the Zoom link. And that's from 3 to 4.30 on October 5th. So that'd be a really great event uh, to learn more about the LGBTQA plus uh, community. Uh, what are some of the things? Plus, you're working, learning from OASIS as well. Really get a chance to meet some other fellow students who are curious and part of that community. Uh, so you can get support through that. Again, that's from 3 to 4.30 p.m. on October 5th. Also during that time around four o'clock to 5 p.m., there are many ways to gain experience as a pre-law student with opportunities on campus in the local community and beyond. With so many options, it can be hard to know where to begin getting involved. This workshop is dedicated to help you gain experience as a pre-law student. And that's gonna be in the Love Library from four to 5 p.m. on October 5th. Also around 4.30 to 7.30, there's food truck night. And yes, food truck night on Tuesday, October 5th. Bring your crew and use your meal plan for a fun night out with hundreds of Huskers and delicious eats from three popular food trucks. And that's from 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. on the 17th Street Green Space. Around, and there's a lot of events happening from three to four, uh, but there's one is also uh, a Zoom in uh, meeting, uh, Cap Skill Building, how to be your own best friend. And that's really good, how to enjoy yourself and be your best friend. This skill building workshop will help you learn to enjoy their own company and start and stave off feelings of inevitable loneliness. No registration is required to participate. So head on over there. If you're feeling alone, uh, how can you, you know, be your own best friend? And this is a great opportunity to learn about that. Moving on to Wednesday, they again have thank you donuts and coffee in Harper, Shram, Smith and Village Halls. 
from 7.30 to 10.30 a.m. That's when your donut day is. So make sure you get some donuts. I think I might try to go from place to place every day to get some free donuts and see if they'll give me some, uh, since I'm giving them so many uh, advertisements here for their, their events. Uh, but hopefully you all get to enjoy some donuts. I wonder what donuts they are. Uh, I'm very curious to know. So there's a big, there's a big, you know, I'm a big donut uh, connoisseur. So uh, if there's donut people who love donuts out there. My favorite right now in town, I love Lamar's donuts. Their quality. Uh, also, you know, uh, the High V has some pretty good donuts as well. If you haven't been over to High V, they always have a, a good bakery section of donuts. So, but yeah, I do, I do know my way around the donuts. <laughs> Uh, so after you get your, you know, fill of donuts and coffee, uh, drop in flu shot, you know, flu season's right around the corner. Uh, current UNL students can get their free flu shot by attending a drop-in flu clinic at the University Health Center. And that's from 9 to 12 p.m. on Wednesday. <clears throat> Next event, how the health are you? Money management promo. Learn about financial well-being and the resources provided to students on campus. This event's gonna help you with money management. Uh, there's also the Husker Pantry there. It's um, done by Big Red Resilience and Wellbeing. Uh, and it's at the Nebraska East Union. How the health are you from 12 to one? Money management. Uh, learn all about that, because that's really important, I think, uh, for us as, you know, even as a staff member or students, it's important to learn how to manage your money. Uh, I'm always uh, trying to do better at that. Uh, later on in that day, we have assertiveness training drop-in workshop. In this introduction to assertiveness skills, students will learn how to stand your ground and speak your piece by discussing passive and aggressive and assertive communication styles. Part, and so this is a great time to feel like if you want to be more assertive and you're not sure how to be assertive because you're kind of like, oh, I'm not sure, I don't want to be a part of this, this is a great chance for you to practice and learn, uh, it's through Zoom, and it's a uh, assertiveness training drop-in workshop from 3 to 4 p.m. And that's through our CAPS program. Uh, from 3.30 to 5 p.m. on Wednesday, we have our race and ethnical decision-making in healthcare. So where are all my pre-health majors? This would be a really good topic for you to go and learn a little bit more about. In discussion-based workshop, you'll be asked to think about unconscious bias in the healthcare, the impact of health disparities, and then practice that knowledge with a real world scenario. With peers, you'll be able to you'll be have the opportunity to analyze and learn all about and how to make these ethical decisions regarding uh, in, in healthcare. Really good event, I think, is gonna be good if you're a pre-health major and thinking about going into that field uh, of healthcare. Uh, this will be something to really kind of go to and learn a little bit more. Again, from 3.30 to 5 p.m. in the Love Library. Uh, lastly, at 5 p.m. at the Catherine Downing Complex, we are in Nebraska Internship Performance. Uh, this is one of three performances this October uh, for the Internship Performance. Check them out. I'm not sure what they're all about, but that would be a cool event. Uh, it's in the Catherine Downing Complex at 5 p.m. Uh, so go ahead and check out the We Are Nebraska Internship Performance. Before we move on, let's take a message from our sponsor, Hey everybody, welcome to Campus Recreation. We're committed to enhancing the educational experience and promoting lifelong wellness through excellent recreation program services and facilities. We want you to be a leader in collegiate recreational sports and an advocate for lifelong wellness. Come check us out. We have different programs and well-being. Uh, we have yoga, we have weights, we have different classes you can sign up for all these different types of things to get your stress as midterms are approaching, come get your stress-free workout in uh, by coming to one of our classes or working out in our programs or signing up for one of our intramurals. It's be a great opportunity, again, to feel fit, get that, to promote that lifelong wellness, uh, and also just enjoy and have fun. Campus Recreation, we're on both campuses. Uh, enjoy, uh, come enjoy our services. Most of our services are free for U.S. students. Moving on uh, to Thursday, October 7th. Uh, again, Residence Appreciation Week from 6.45 a.m. Now, that's pretty early, uh, I know, for some of you. However, there is steak and eggs at Selig Dining. So enjoy steak and eggs for breakfast at Selig Dining, and thanks for living on campus. 
So get some steak and eggs. That sounds really good. Uh, from 6.45 a.m. to 9 a.m. I would try to get there early because, you know, it's better to steak. That's going to be pretty good uh, breakfast. Uh, later on in the evening that day, they, for the same program, they have a steak dinner. So you're able to, if you're living on campus, join us for a student favorite steak dinner serving in Cather, Harper, Abel, and East Campus Dining Centers, steak dinners across campus from 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. on Thursday. So get your steak and eggs in the morning and get your steak dinner at night. Uh, I think that's, uh, you can't complain about that. Uh, and then also during the day, they're giving out donuts to Abel and, and the Courtyard. So if you're in Abel and Courtyards on Thursday, get ready to eat. You can eat some donuts, you can eat some steak and eggs, and then have a nice steak dinner at the end of the night. As always, uh, coffee and tea at three in Canfield uh, here in the TRIO office. Stop by for some fresh coffee, tea, and conversation every Thursday at 3 p.m. to 5. A great program. I, I would say uh, not many people have been uh, taking us up on that. So come on out, get some free coffee, relax, check out our student lounge. Uh, it should be a really nice time for uh, students just to kind of hang out and relax. Uh, at 7 p.m., we have the uh, reading series. Uh, we're celebrating 50 years of LGBTQ studies here at UNL. Um, Allison is an internationally beloved cartoonist whose darkly humorous graphic memoirs, astute writing, and drawings have forged an unlikely intimacy with a wide and desperate range of readers. Uh, she's going to come and talk uh, all about uh, her books and everything that she does. I thought it was a pretty cool uh, program. That's going to be in the Rococo Theater from 7 to 8.30 p.m. Uh, again, it's going to be the reading series from, with Allison. Uh, she's going to talk all about different things that she she drew and why she drew some of the things that she did. I think it'll be a really good program. And that program is put on by the Department of English. At 7 p.m. Uh, in the Lead Center, I couldn't believe this when I saw this, but Larry the Cable Guy, special event benefiting the Lead Center. Uh, his mission is to educate, entertain, and inspire Nebraskans through the performing arts. He is generally donating his time and 100% of ticket sales directly support the Lead Center's continued programming. And that starts at 7 p.m. in the Lead Center on October 7th. Moving in on to Friday, as always, they have the morning coffee ride and outdoor adventure center from 7 to 9 p.m. Start your day with a brisk morning bike ride and a nice cup of coffee. Uh, throughout the day, uh, there'll be a few other events happening. Uh, they're gonna end the uh, residence uh, rock Appreciation Week with some root beer floats in the HSS courtyard. Uh, residents can enjoy root beer floats uh, for resident, resident Appreciation Week. Uh, and if it does rain, their location is in the Harbor Dining Conference Room, but uh, it is uh, there where you can hang out and enjoy and have some nice root beer floats. Hopefully it won't be too cold for that. Um, and you'll be able to have some, enjoy that. One of my favorite uh, treats is root beer floats, so for now. Uh, at 7 p.m. in the Nebraska Union, we have Nerdology, a pop culture trivia game show. And this is led by SLICE, the Student Leadership Program. Put your mental medal and your teammates on display against other student teams in a live showdown to prove who is the campus know-it-all for pop culture, video games, comic books, and more. Nerdology is destined to be the most fun and infectious time you have this year so far. So Nerdology sounds like a really fun event next Friday uh, from 7 to 11 p.m. And then lastly on Friday, it's the Rainbow Ball, an inclusive homecoming dance where you can dress how you want, bring who you want, and be who you are. This is a space for LGBTQA plus students to celebrate and dance the night away. There will be music, dancing, light refreshments, and a rainbow photo background. Check it out, the Rainbow Ball at the Kaufman Academic Residential Center from 8 to 11 p.m. As we're thinking about uh, today's tips, I put the Canvas Recreation back up here uh, as our sponsor today, because I really want you all to start thinking, you know, this is a time to really think about, hey, 
I need to find a time to get some, some, get my health in line, work out. You know, it's very stressful. Midterms are coming around the corner here. We have fall break coming up. You know, people are going to start getting uh, ready for, you know, the winter season, the holidays, uh, and all that, all that kind of stress that comes with some of those things. And I think it's really important to de-stress, go work out if you can, uh, get some physical exertion, whatever that might be. You don't have to go and lift a bunch of weights. They have classes, they have all different types of things. So my tip of the week is start getting involved in some ways to promote um, healthy activity in your lifestyle. Uh, and so I think it's really important to check out campus recreation and what campus recreation uh, and go to some of their events and programs uh, to kind of help you help you through the rest of this uh, upcoming year. Uh, this is week seven. We got, you know, nine more weeks left. Uh, so pretty exciting stuff here. So good luck with that. As always, uh, feel free to check in. Uh, check in right here on the uh on our YouTube page or go onto uh, our Spotify taglines or Apple P podcast taglines where there's a link where you can click the link and talk all about listening to this program and checking in and say, Hey, I watched this program and uh, I learned some stuff about this and I want to see some more information about X, Y, and Z. Uh, so feel free to check in there. Again, our podcasts are available on Spotify and Apple iTunes. Uh, feel free to check us in. Give us some five-star ratings uh, if you enjoy the podcast. Again, we do events. Uh, we do uh, doing a podcast all about events, and we'd love to know if this is uh, worth your time. And if you hear all about the events and learn about them, uh, I really would like to know. And uh, have a chance to tell me, hey, I want to hear more about what resources on campus. Uh, we're going to start getting back into more resources and learning about different things on campus that you might not know about. Uh, so feel free to check out the Trio 30 uh, talks on our podcast. We have about 27 episodes now. Uh, if you're feeling uh, like following us on any of our platforms, we're at UNL Trio Scholars on Twitter and Instagram. And on Facebook, it's facebook.com backslash UNL Trio Scholars. Uh, I want to thank you all again for listening. I hope you all enjoy, have enjoyed your homecoming weekend and this week. Uh, will be fun because in a few weeks, uh, it's going to be midterms, fall break is coming around the corner. Uh, we're, almost ha we're almost halfway through this year. Uh, time is flying by. So make sure you take a time out of your schedule to go to some of these events. Uh, get that, that chance to be like, hey, I want to be a part of something in the community, going to events, uh, whether it's ones I talked about today or ones in your club or organization, fraternity, sorority, whatever it may be. Uh, make sure you try to take some time this week uh, to go to an event or do something outside of being in the classroom or studying all day. Again, thank you very much, everyone. I hope you enjoy your weekend and go Big Red. <laughs>